I'm John Paul Kessling, and I am this week's studio visit artist for I Like Your Work. I am an artist based in Madison, Tennessee, which is just north of Nashville. Uh, I work primarily in uh, paint of various kinds, oil paint, spray paint, acrylic. I incorporate all that typically into the pieces. And uh, sometimes I do sculptural things and performance things and uh, costume things, but primarily painting at this point. I'll show you a little bit of what I'm working on, uh, what's on the wall right now in the studio. These are some new pieces. And I typically work on a bunch of pieces at once. Um, I have several bodies of work going at the same time. I'll have a landscape, some portrait stuff. And then uh, this piece, it's part of an ongoing series. I have uh, people kissing. And that started during the pandemic, thinking about the lack of intimacy and, and uh, personal touch. And um, it's been just an ongoing thing. Now it's starting to merge into self-evaluation and uh, and reflection. And so this piece is sort of a double self-portrait of somebody um, trying to get in touch with their self. And this is an abomination. I thought I would show you these three new pieces. Basically, I took paintings that I felt like had more to say than, than I could say in a rectangle, and I started expanding them outside of the uh, standard format of the rectangle and uh, they've been a lot of fun to make. I've been using scrap materials and things that I've found metal detecting. You heard that correctly. Um, but they've been a lot of fun and, um, and I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. Um, I know that I'm going to have trouble storing them but you know what are you gonna do? I thought I'd show you another series that I've been working on for a while. Um, these are shaped uh, plywood pieces and they're engraved using mostly a Dremel tool uh, based on Michelangelo's Pietà. Um, these particular pieces are, um, you know, we give Madonna and Child, and so I've uh, been using them to speak to loss and uh, be it personal loss, such as my brother passing away in 2004. Um, and that, that what that must be like for a mother to lose a child and also uh, more universal things such as war, cultural loss, school shootings, nightclub shootings, any of the, the uh, bevy of horrible things that happen every day. Usually when I start these pieces, I have the shape, uh, you know, cut the shape, prep the materials, start doing the engraving, and then something just always happens in the news and typically that will influence the direction of the piece itself uh, and what materials go into the piece. I usually don't know until I'm working on it and um, I just like that. It's sort of a meditation to process all that information and, um, and so these are just ongoing. And I wanted to uh, bring you closer to these to just show you some of the details of the piece so you can understand the process a little more and the uh, tactile quality of them which I feel is very important. This one sort of has a velvety and almost like stone like texture to it, ceramic even. And um, to me, they feel like uh, headstones or places of remembrance. And then a lot of them, I do paint with a fluorescent on the back. So there's a bit of a glow mimicking a halo. And here's a little sneak peek of the back. Thank you so much for coming by my studio. I really appreciate it. It's been great having you. Uh, you can see more of my work at johnpaulkessling.com or at Instagram uh, at johnpaulkessling. That's J-O-H-N-P-A-U-L-K-E-S-L-I-N-G. And be sure to check out the full interview with me at ilikeyourwork.com forward slash studio visit artist. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.